All right guys, what's up? Welcome back to Ethan's Custom Lures. And today we're gonna be painting this little crappie swim bait in front of us. We're gonna be painting it in a sunfish style actually. Um, so we're gonna just do this little quick little paint job. This is gonna be actually one of my more complicated patterns. I've never done this. I'm just gonna try and experiment and see if we can come out looking halfway decent. Um, but the colors we're gonna be using to yellow ochre a uh, orange, a pearlized black, a green, and a burnt sienna. Um, I actually haven't given this bait a white base coat. It just came like that, so we won't be needing any white. But um, we're just going to get into the lure painting. If you're new to the channel, make sure to uh, check us out. Um, thank you for clicking on the video. We do a lot of lure painting, and I'll hopefully be making some videos of actually trying to catch some fish with these lures at some point, but still really cold outside and not having much luck but um let's get into the lure paint all right guys so all i've done to start to prep this lure is i just took some uh little rubber bands and put them in the joints to keep the, they're actually like little felt connectors in there and that's what gives it the uh, swimming action but i put that in there so we wouldn't get any paint and make those uh joints stiff what i like to use is basically i just get these like um you know those like bracelets that you use these to tie together well i just go to like a hobby lobby or something and pick these up they're just like those little i don't know like bracelet making kits but i just use the rubber bands out of them to uh put them on my fishing lures but as you can see this back one is sticking out a little bit so we might have to adjust that since it's such a small joint and those rubber bands are pretty thick but uh without further ado let's get our first color i think we're going to do is we're going to cover the entire bait in this coat uh, uh color of yellow ochre Magic fly, airbrush paint. We're just gonna do a little base coat, load it up in the gun, and let's All shoot. All right, so, like I said, we're gonna start off with the yellow ochre, just cause all sunfish are kind of tan, you know? Um, we're just gonna do a base coat of this. Um, I'm hoping that this will look good. This is my first sunfish I've ever done, so hopefully it will uh, look decent and we don't have to like redo this. But let's get this little yellow ochre coat in. Alright, so I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Um, it's looking a little yellow for my taste, but I mean, it is yellow ochre. I was hoping it would look a little bit more tan, but I think that's pretty good. We'll heat set this, and then we'll maybe do another coat or move on to the next coat. Okay, so I think I'm going to do just another coat just kind of as, because it's going to be like the background color. For everything that's going to stand out mainly on the side, so I'm just going to get a little bit more in just to make sure it looks prominent. Alright, so it is looking a little yellow right now, I will admit, but I'm thinking later with like our dark green and our burnt sienna, I think it'll balance it out a little bit. So. We'll heat set this and then we're going to head on and move to some orange which we're going to do uh, just up on the belly here and then maybe work it up like the front and then maybe about halfway. I don't want to go all the way back to these fins though. So heat set this and then move on to our orange. Alright, so with this orange, what we're going to do is we're going to focus it up um, towards the mouth. We've got this set pretty low, and we're just going to kind of fade it down the front. It's looking pretty wet already, so I'm going to heat set this real quick. Okay, we're going to hit this again, turn the paint down even more. All right, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. And now, well, might work it up a little bit more on the side, but then we'll move on to the next color. All right, so I think this next part's gonna be kind of fun, and this is something I've never done before, but I've seen people do it. So what they do 
is they take a comb and they will hold it up on their lure and spray vertical bars on it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that with this burnt sienna. We're gonna hold it up, just spray some vertical bars on each side and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so what I have here is one of those combs that has like two different like uh, distances between the uh, spokes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the thicker side. I'm just gonna hold this here. See how this goes. All right, that gave it some vertical bar, but I think I'll try and hold it up since I didn't get all the way up here. Um, and then we'll move on to the dark green, but I think that actually looks really cool. That's something I've never done. So that was a fun little test that I got to do. Pretty cool if you ask me. Kind of give it like some tiger stripes, kind of. I think it looks pretty cool. Get this other side. All right, there we go. Did a little bit better on that side. We'll get a little bit higher. Um, and then we'll, well, might want to get a little lower just to match the other side, but we'll fix this. A little bit and just match the side and then we'll move on to our dark all brush. right so so far i'm thinking this looks like a pretty mean crappie this is pretty or er, sunfish sorry this is looking really good i'm happy with this house is turning out because this is the first one i've ever done next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of green on the top but you know sunfish are kind of dark green and this is not dark green what we'll do is i think we'll mix a little bit of these two together give us a dark green and then we'll hit like dark green, fade it down a little bit. And then our last color will be this pearlized black that we'll do just on the top. All right, so guys, we mix those two colors together and that's what it looks like. I tested it on the cardboard. I think that looks really, really good. So we're gonna spray that on the top of our crappie here. Uh, but yeah, just thought that looks really good. I don't even need to try the other green. So Let's see. do the top of this real quick. All right, well, it's getting really wet, so I'm gonna heat set it real quick. All right, let's do a little bit more work to it. Try and fade it down the sides just a little. And then also I'm gonna hit it on the gill plate and around the eyes. Sorry, left the camera there. So this is looking really good. I'm really stoked about how this is looking, for, especially for my first one. I'm thinking this looks really good. Um, we'll put some black on that top a little bit, um, and then we should be done. I mean, we'll put some eyes on, and I might just put a little blue-looking um, gill thing like the bluegills have. I'll think about it, though. I don't want to like ruin a really cool looking bait. So let's do this black. All right, guys, I decided to play it safe and not do that little uh, blue gill. So the last color will be our pearlized black. Um, love these Createx paints, they're really great. If you've watched my channel, you know that. I'll make sure to let you know in pretty much every video that I love Createx paints. But we're just gonna load a little in the gun. And then we're just gonna do a little thin strip across the top of the uh, back so i have this bottom feeder i've got the pressure or the paint set where not much is going to come out i always like to double check on my cardboard um, and i'm going to hit this back just along the back not trying to fade it down or anything
Ah, uh, guys, I think that looks awesome. That is your final bait right there. I'm going to put eyes on. We'll get you some final shots. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, this has been really fun making these baits with you. Um, I appreciate you watching my video. Please go check the channel out. It'd be huge if you could subscribe for me. Um, I think we're just hit 25, so we're just getting started, but I'd like to get to 100 by the end of March. That'd be awesome. Um, and then maybe get monetized by the end of the year. Um, I'll continue to make videos. Uh, if you do subscribe, it will help me and I can make more complicated patterns and stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on another video. See ya later.